the use of videos is increasing day by day for educational purpose but there is a problem with videos their size videos are usually very large in size so it is very difficult to transfer them via pen drive via hard disk because you need more size basically you need more disk space and when you want to transfer it over internet then you need more bandwidth what if i tell you that there is a solution to this problem there is a open source and free software available that helps you reduce your video file size drastically in fact in this video i will demonstrate how i reduce a 3.92 gb file size to 287 mb yes you heard me correctly 3.92 gb to 287 mb the software name is handbrake and i'll show you how you can use the software and make your life simpler so why wait let's start so first thing you have to do is install handbrake on your system for that you can either visit handbrake website which is handbrake.fr this website from here you can download as you can see it is available for all the operating systems i'll show you so let's go to downloads and here it is available for mac os windows and linux but i don't prefer this method what i do i go to nineite.com and from here i select handbrake see handbrake is available here one more thing you have to select not just for handbrake but for a good experience on your pc with the videos most of the teachers has complained about some video files are not running on their system for that you need codecs when codecs are missing you are unable to play some files some video files on windows pc this is why i always recommend to install klite codecs as soon as you buy a new laptop or a pc so because i am going to utilize handbrake it helps in video conversion this is why i will install klite codecs also when you see this handbrake you can see that it requires .NET 4.7.1. This is why I also say that go to this runtime and install .NET also. So when you have selected these three things, click on Get Your Nineite. An .exe file will download. If download does not start, you can click on this link. Retry the download. So once it is downloaded, open this Nineite file. You can see how many applications are selected. This is .NET, this is Handbrake, and this is Klite Codex. So it will take some time to install. First, it will download each software based on your PC. Then it will install all of them. So we have to wait for a few minutes. So when everything is installed, you can see the status is OK. You will close this. And now handbrake is installed. So I'll close this window, this window, and then I'll open handbrake. Let's open it. So this is the handbrake. When it opens for the first time, it shows you two simple options. Either you will select a single video file or you will select a folder from where you will select multiple video files. So I'll cancel here because I want to show you this interface. As you can see, the interface is very easy. So this is option that shows you that you have to open the source file that you want to convert. And then this is option that says that you start conversion. Okay, so what we will do, we will select a source to continue. If we want to do something, then we have to select a video file to reduce its size. So I have already selected this file. I have recorded this file for one of the video for you. So you, as you can see, the video file size is 3.92 GB. Okay, it's 3.92 GB. I am selecting it intentionally because I want to show you the impact of handbrake. So if I want to select it, there are two ways. I will either drag it, then go to handbrake and drop the file on the interface of the 
handbrake or I will open source and then click on file select the file and click on open so with these two method you can open a file to convert it so when you open a file you will see that these options now become active now you can work on them so there are many options like summary dimension filters video audio subtitle chapters there are some options so i'll go with them one by one so this is summary what is the format of the video okay in which format you want to convert this video this is what you have to specify here you want to make it web optimized or you want to make it device optimized that also you have to specify here you want to align AV start or not you want to support iPod 5G support or not this is what you have to specify from here if you do not know what is AV start you can read this description so what happens there are many multimedia players and what they do when first time the file loads they try to align the video and audio if it is not available then it it is possible that video and audio are not aligned while they are playing on the video player then next is dimension so here you can specify what is the dimension of your output so as you can see the source file size is 1925 1080 but if you want you can change the dimension from here do you want to crop something that also you can select from here by selecting custom you can cut some area from top left bottom and right I don't want to do it generally it is not the requirement then these are some other options then there are filters do you want to apply some filters then also you can select a filter from here like this interlace filters are there denoise filters are there so we generally don't select any then there is video options which video codec you want to use now I believe you have realized why I ask you to install the codecs then what will be your frame per second so there are so many options you can see I don't want to confuse you with all of these options go to audio just see just go through them okay so from here you can also control the quality of audio from here you can add subtitles to your video and then from here you can add chapters in your video you might have seen some movies have chapters marked there so that when you click on next it doesn't open next file it opens the next chapter from the same video so you have seen so many options but it looks very confusing then how we will use it it's very easy to use actually so you will see this preset option here when you click on this preset you will see there are so many options like in general these are the options then in web these are the options similarly like you go to device then you will see a lot of options here okay so these are the options this help you to select appropriate settings so like these settings are very complex and for that you need to have a lot of technical knowledge this is why handbrake provides you these presets for example you want to select you want to attach the video into a gmail file then you will go to web and select one of these three formats gmail large 3 minute medium 5 minute gmail small 10 minutes this you can select so this file is of 18 minute 59 seconds so it is more than 10 minutes so what is the best format for that i will select gmail small 10 minutes when you do that when you select any preset from here it shows you how it will look you can preview different different frames from the video how final output will look like if you are satisfied with this output then you can continue with changing its format or quality similarly you can select a different device for example nowadays everybody has a smartphone if you go to devices you will see multiple options based on android apple chromecast amazon fire playstation roku xbox so this is almost every device which is available to play the video if you go to this you will see a lot of options here and when you go to production you will see these options okay 
so for teachers generally web options and device options are best so i'll go to device option and i'll select android 1080 pixel 30 fps nowadays most of our devices have support for full hd so i'll select full hd and this 30 represent frame per second as i select it you will see a settings will change here okay so a lot of settings have changed inside also but you do not need to worry about it because you just have to select the preset and all the settings will change automatically so this is how your video will look if you are satisfied with this you can continue with the production if you want to see the preview you can click here also see this is how you can see it on your full screen as you can see this is 66 percent actual size okay i'll close it let's now select a different format i'll select device and i'll say android 480 pixel 30 fps then what will happen this preview will change i'll go to preview and see now it is 100 percent of actual size correct so this is how you know before conversion that how your video will look in the device if you are satisfied with the quality then you can simply produce it so what i'll do i will select a good quality i'll select android 1080 pixel 30 fps because most probably you are going to select this option only i'll not select web optimized i'll not select line av start because this preset does not say that you select all of these things so i will not do that then once you have selected your preset you have to come here and you need to specify where you want to save this file so what i'll do i will save this file in the same folder so i'll go to that folder and i'll specify name so it's better to click on browse and then by going to the folder give it a name I am going to give it this name optimized mvi underscore 7186 because I don't want to confuse with the file name okay. and I'll click on save once it is done you know where your file will be available after production now all you need to do is click on this start encode button click on this start encode and you will see these two options now stop and pause if you want to pause or if you want to stop then you can stop from here you will be able to see how much percent of conversion is complete or encoding is complete you will also be able to see how much time is remaining and how much time is elapsed so as you can see the time for conversion is very high like 20 minute 46 seconds is still pending this is why it is very important to see how it will look and handbrakes gives you this opportunity other software don't have this option where you can see the preview that how your file will look at the end but here you can see it so we have to wait for let us say 20 minutes so what i am going to do i am going to skip the video and when this conversion will complete then i will show you the output so as you can see the queue is finished this means this particular video is now produced so let's now go to this folder as you can see here in this folder there is this file optimized mvi7186 so let's now see the file size so we will select this original one as you can see this is 3.92 GB okay and let me now see this file size as you can see this is 287 MB I know you are surprised too this is why I always recommend handbrake let's now play this so that we can see the quality so you can see the comparison of original file and optimized file side by side can you notice any difference see there is no difference no visible difference actually this is why i suggest handbrake similarly let's do one more thing we will again go to here and as you can see the file is still selected now we will select a different preset 
and this time I will select this 720 pixel that means HD and I will give it a name optimized HD okay the folder is same and now I will click on start encode so it will again start encoding it's calculating how much time it will take so see here this time the time is lesser than the previous conversion previously it was saying around 20 minutes 21 minutes now it's around 14 minutes so because this is little smaller size so we are producing in HD previous was in full HD this is why it's taking less time so again I'll skip this video and I'll show you the final optimized file now conversion is complete and now I will go to the folder here you can see this is original file what is the file size 3.92 GB this is full HD what is the file size 287 MB and this is HD what is the file size 147 MB now I believe you know how to use handbrake there is just one more thing go to file go to open source and you will see this option so from here you can select the complete folder so what I'll do I'll select this complete folder okay so click on select folder so you will see that it has scanned complete folder in the folder there were four files three videos and one image so it's showing image so you can see this image is here I don't want to convert it because obviously this is image so I'll not add this to the queue by clicking here you can add it to the queue I'll not do it I'll go to the second file by clicking here I can see all the titles available in the folder I'll select this one and I'll add it to the queue by clicking on this add to queue as I clicked here you can see the queue now has one item I'll now go to this third video I'll add this to queue also now you have two items I will again select another video and I will add this also to the queue make sure you add only videos to the queue otherwise the process may stop now I'll check the queue click here and you will be able to see that there are three videos only by looking into this format you will be able to see that these are the videos once you are satisfied with your queue then what you need to do select appropriate preset from here so I'll select this one now and now you can see all your files have the same preset like if you see 3 it has same preset you go to 2 it also has same preset correct and you can see how it will look once you are satisfied with the settings you have done you can also see where these files will be produced and every file has a different name like you can see here I will select the third one you notice the file name see and I will select the fourth one you notice the file name. so file name will be different so right now this option also changed from a start end code to start queue so if you start queue it will show you stop button and pause button and you can see that it's converting okay and you can see how many pending jobs are there two one is currently in progress so this is how you can convert your videos right now I don't want to do that this is why I'll click on stop so everything will stop see one errors or cancellation detected now I believe you know how to use handbrake and now you will be able to successfully reduce the file size of your educational videos your comments inspire me to make more videos this video is also a result of a question asked by an instructor from this video I am starting to show the comments of instructors on the video so keep asking I'll keep making more video I promise so I will see you in one of my next video namaste